Hi, Simon and Dorothy. Um, let's sing school today. Okay. song school today we're going to have to place a new sticker on our guitar watch carefully as I demonstrate hi watch carefully as I place my G note on our first string so our first string is the skinny string and you already have an F note uh, or a sticker for your F note now take off one of your sticky white dots and place it under your first string at the third fret. So that's one, two, three, right there. So just push the string forward, place this down, give it a bit of a rub. Take your pen and write a G. Have a look at these notes and tell me whether they go up or down. These notes here sit in the last space. That's one, two, three, four, between the fourth and the fifth line. Then these notes, they sit on the fifth line. And then these notes sit above the fifth line. So you can say that these notes are going up. On our card, here they are here. We've got this note, then this note, and then this note. Do you remember their names? This is in a space, so we go F, A, C, E. And then this note sits a little bit above E, so do you remember what note comes after E in our alphabet? That would be A, B, C, D, E, E is there, E then comes F. And then this note sits a little bit higher than F. A, B, C, D, E, F, E, F. This must be a G. Hi, boys and girls. Now you know two Gs. We know our high G, which is located right here. And, of course, we also know our low G, which is on our second line on our music. And, of course, that's our third string. 
Now when you're playing that high G, I want you to have a nice straight wrist, straight thumb, halfway down the neck, and placed behind the second fret area. I'd like you to make sure that you have a bend in every one of those knuckles and you squeeze that string um, against the neck of the guitar. Press it down towards the fingerboard. Just give it a good squeeze like that and you'll get a nice clear sound. Be careful you don't place it too far down to your left. Just keep it where you put that sticker. In, the, in this fret area but up toward the bridging. So you've got a nice clear G. Alright, so let's get a start. You'll notice that what we have to start with are a total of seven E's. And we have the, this, uh, these words. I have travelled a long way. Can you play that? Are you ready? Let's go. I have travelled a long way. Now your note goes up to F. Put your finger on the first fret, the first string. Just to come to school today and go. Just to come to school today. Third finger goes on the third fret of the third uh, of the first string, and we'll play our G note. Three o'clock, I say hip hooray and go. Three o'clock, I say hip hooray. Then the notes start to go down again. We go back to F. And we have a whole bunch of TTs. Then I do it all again. Uh, and we go to E. Now the day. I'll play that again for you. You copy me. So you'll have to be very careful. We have a total of eight Fs. Then we go down to our E note and we play three of them. Watch me carefully. F, 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 E, 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 and go. F, 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 E, E, E. Now it's time to play with the music. I'd like you to place your thumb just behind the second fret and have your fingers ready to play an F and your third finger ready to play a G. So see how my fingers are nice and evenly spread. Okay, here we go. Starting on E. On G, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, go. Back to F, and then E, go. F, F, E, 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 back to the start. to show you a little experiment. I have a bottle in my hand and in that bottle there's nothing. Well there is something and that something is air and we have a column of air that between the top of the bottle and the bottom of the bottle might be say 200 millimeters long. Now I can make that column of air vibrate by blowing across the top or the opening of the bottle. It gives us a pitch, it gives us a note. Now, I'm going to take some water and I'm going to place that water inside the bottle. Now our column of air, you may not be able to see it, but it goes from about there to there. So we have less air in the bottle. Say there's probably a 180 millimeter column of air in this bottle. So if there's, if I make that column of air vibrate and there's less air in the bottle, 
what you, would you expect to happen to the sound? Would the sound go up or would the sound go down? Would the pitch go up or the pitch go down? Let's have a listen. Did you say the pitch went down? The pitch has gone up. Have another listen. I'll pour the water out. Here's our 200 millimeter column of air. And when I pour water into the bottle, the air escapes, so there is less air. And now we have about 180 millimeter column of air. And the pitch has gone up. I might put some more water into our bottle. And what do you expect to happen now? We have a very small column of air, or a little bit smaller anyway, and the pitch has gone up. So, I hope you enjoyed watching that experiment. Now, like our vibrating column of air, remember when the column of air was quite long, the 200 millimeter column of air was long, the, when that vibrated, we got a low note, and then we added water, we added water to the bottle and we got a shorter column of air. And what happened to the note? It went higher. So it's like our guitar string. When we have an empty bottle, that's like playing an open string. It vibrates from there to there. It's as low as it'll go. But if we shorten the vibrating length of string, the note goes higher. So that's exactly the same thing. The longer the vibrating length of string, the lower the note. The longer the column of air in the bottle, the lower the note. The shorter the column of air in the bottle, the higher the note. And the shorter the vibrating length of string, the higher the note. So that's why E is quite low, F is a little bit higher, and G is higher still.